Shy bit. Back on the reactions, man. Got a random reaction here, man. Y'all know I'm an Eagles fan and shit. Uh, as far as watching rugby, I don't watch no rugby, but I do know I left tackle for the Eagles. It's a former rugby player. Y'all know it's going to be a lot of changes in the new NFL season coming next year. Got rid of the hip drop tackle. It's time for the, all the people that talked about football eventually coming to flag football. And they're going to have skirts and Victoria's Secret panties on them and all that type shit. The days like is coming in probably the next 10 to 15, 20 years. There's no telling where the game of football is going to be at. But this here, this this sport right here seems like it's a be is a very aggressive sport. Maybe I had to trans over, transition over to this type of shit. This right here is the most feared rugby team in the world. I haven't seen no rugby type shit. Maybe a highlight here or there. So I don't really know what to expect in this video. So, but when we talk in fear, I'm expecting big hits, pain to be inflicted. So uh, I just want to tap in, man. This is a random video. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep y'all up to date. I ain't seen, I ain't showed my face in a minute. Been about two weeks. So, I just want to check out this video, man. Uh, y'all know Eagles are the masters of the touch push, which they call a rugby play. You know what I'm saying? Nobody does it better than we do. I know y'all niggas be mad about that shit, but uh, we're going to see how the real rugby players get down, man. This is the most feared rugby team in the world. I don't know where, I guess Spring Books are the, are the name of the team. We're going to check it out and see what they really about, man, because this is probably the most physicality we're going to get come next football season because we don't get we are starting to slowly disintegrate as far as the the physicalness of the game of football but this is not even football this is rugby man let's check it out though so much not physicality it's brutality i look like a broken nose you know they will want to uh, they will want to rough you up Africans, you know, they go hard. They, they I think they, they almost try to like run. a fucking menace. Who is this nigga? <laughs> Look at the rim. <laughs> Look at the rim. I think he, I think he worried. This nigga like a menace. I gotta get his name. You know, they, what the fuck? Look at that face, bro. They go hard. They, they I think they, they almost. Y'all yeah, remember Mike Tyson was like, man, I eat your kids. I believe this nigga is, he's, I believe he got the same kind of thoughts. That that face right there is crazy. I can't lie. And look, the ref look worried too. So he probably knows something about him that we don't know about if you don't watch Russ. Let's try to go out of your way to, to intimidate you a little bit. Every coward dicky, send I up Bigger. Ooh, good hit. Hey, rugby might be the wave from now on, man. In Ten years. It's beat though. It's beat five, man. This how y'all get down on rugby, man. This the beat, y'all. Uh, somebody else made this beat. This beat five. So they ain't got no pads on and then bro they just they just out here what the fuck i didn't know they could lateral it forward like that Bro, Loki, you could go. Well, they got they on the, it's only because they have. I can't really say too much right now because it's different if you could actually play football. You know, it's different between running in pads and then running with shirts and shorts. It, but just from looking at it, like Loki, bro, you got some athletes out here. You just watching them run and stuff. They got some. You know what I'm saying? But it's a big difference when you got them pads on them heavy ass pads. You know. The 
Do you assume that they birds are the onside kick or something? <laughs> I don't know. That cutback was crazy. Dog, imagine you could do that in the NFL. It's like you just running, and then you can lateral that motherfucker to a person to the side. You imagine Tyreek could have so many touchdowns. Everybody bet on the, if you got a fancy team with Tyreek on that bitch. Man, what you make a killing? Cause everybody go try to lateral that motherfucker forward to him. So he can take off with it, because who gonna catch the cheetah, baby? That's crazy, you can ladder that forward like that. Is that a fumble? Wait up, bro. I just knew he finna pop his ass. He... Yeah, 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 yeah. It looked like somebody being salty, baby. I love it. Is that legal? Or that I feel a whistle tight hit. Is that legal? Tug of war, but everybody <laughs> it looked like tug of war, but what the fuck was that, bro? Now this 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 is the if y'all if you're a fan of Anybody besides the Eagles, this is the way you want to stop the, the brotherly shove, tush push, whatever you want to call it right here. You got to get this low right here because whatever the goal is right here, I guess they try not to let them get in the end zone. This is the, everybody grabbing shirts and shit. I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life, bro. This is crazy. Hey, whoever get the lowest gets, gets, the, gets, the, gets the money. That's crazy. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. I fuck with that, I fuck with that. How do you find the ball and all that type of stuff? Everybody head down. Good hit. I ain't gonna lie, man. You can low-key find some athletes in rugby, though, bro. I think the NFL got to got to get more diverse. Ooh, they like they could be picked off. Ooh, that's nice. Damn. <laughs> I don't know, fast enough. <laughs> that's the that's the tackle. That's the tackle right there. That's the tackle right there. They outlaw for next year. That's the tackle right there. That's stupid. Backwards by Cody Taylor and picked up by Lucanio. 
Ooh, behind the back is crazy. Wow, wow, wow. Look on your arm. Magic, absolute magic from the data. <laughs> that low key not fair though. Like, did they got a random start? It did, so they got all the momentum to jump, and then all the rest of them, everybody else just sitting still, kind of just waiting on the ball. That shit kind of unfair, bro. Everybody else flat footed, and he got a running start to, to out jump everybody pretty much. Maybe somebody else from the, uh, on the on the team that's not kicking can run and do the same thing. But that's kind of crazy. Dude. Look, crack toss. yards the other way y'all kick field goals <laughs> hey man what consider down bro like when he got tackled and he was on the ground I thought that was the end of the play. You got a 10, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 motherfuckers finna jump on top of him. What's considered down in rugby, bitch? Like, he ain't down until, until you stop breathing or something. Look at this. Down right there. One. Here go another. Two, three, here four bodies. Five. Six. <laughs> I know they be hurting after the game, boy. I can't lie. No pads on either. You better run him over. That cut was nice. Get the, the rugby uh, handbook. <laughs> For real, it was like niggas out of bounds and they down and shit. <laughs> and they just be still be running with the ball. The fuck, quarterback sneak. <laughs> See if they got anything else. 
before I end it off. See, uh, the greatest match ever. France versus South Africa. I might have to, I don't know, I might have to dab into that. Right there, right there, right there. But that right there was the most feared rugby team in the world, man. The Springboks, our Brutal Bees. I guess this is the team, since they got that green, I guess they're from South Africa. I don't know, could be wrong, but yeah, main takeaway from this man, I gotta get the rugby handbook and see what's really going on. I see folks down and shit. It's a lot of a lot of my man, and another thing I take away from this, there's a lot of athletes that's playing here in this rugby shit, bro. I can sit and just watch the speed, you can watch the cutbacks and stuff, so you can kinda can see that. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of I can see why our guy, our left tackle, was chosen. You know what I'm saying? To be from the uh, rugby streets. He was a seven round pick, you know what I'm saying? A developmental project and became Damn it, he's not there yet. He got a big fat contract uh, last week. So, and he's almost one of the premier left tackles in the game. I, I do say with some myself. So, you gotta understand there's a lot of talent out there in the rugby streets. You just gotta have the right scouts and everybody to evaluate what's going on and learn the rules of the NFL. But, hey, man, NFL, we'll see where they at in 10 to 15 years because <sighs> ain't looking good right now, man. But, y'all leave comments down below, man. It's your boy Shy. Check it out, Day Baby. Let's get it.